हेलो फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल सो लेट अस कंटिन्यू आवर लेसन ऑन फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स दिस इज़ द ट्वेंटी एथ वीडियो ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर लेसन इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच द प्रीवियस लेसन एंड द प्रीवियस वीडियोज ऑफ दिस लेसन नंबर इलेवन प्लीज गो बैक एंड वॉच दैम फर्स्ट यू कैन फाइंड इट ऑन माई चैनल इन द प्ले लिस्ट फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो फ्रेंड्स वी विल बी फोकसिंग अवर अटेंशन ऑन एक्सचेंज ट्रेडेड फंड सो इट इज ऑल्सो अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक वेन इट कम्स टू एक्विटी फाइनेंसिंग ओके सो लेट एस सी वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एक्सचेंज ट्रेडेड फंड ओके यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड दिस नेम यू नो इन द पब्लिक फाइनेंस यू नो द फिजिकल पॉलिसी वेन द गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट्स टू डिस इन्वेस्ट ओके सो यू मस्ट हैव केम अक्रॉस यू मस्ट हैव कम अक्रॉस दिस पर्टिकुलर टर्मिनोलॉजी देयर Uh, let us understand what it exactly means so see let us break up the word exchange traded fund so exchange traded meaning that it is traded on a stock exchange just like shares and stocks so you know on a stock exchange the shares and stocks are traded in real time and the prices of shares and stocks also fluctuate in real time okay like every second every minute every hour the price of a stock or shares changes because it is traded continuously on the stock exchange when the markets are open so similar to stocks and shares this exchange traded uh, funds are also traded in the real time on the stock exchange and it is a fund it is not a stock or share okay it is not shares but it is a fund fund like just like the mutual funds so fund meaning it is a pooled investment security meaning uh you know so many small small investors they will invest into this exchange traded fund and then there is a fund manager ex etf manager okay this etf manager will then invest into shares or stocks or bonds etc or other securities anything so this is a kind of pooled investment uh, security basically people can buy the units of this etf and then whatever is the fund collected uh whatever is the corpus of this fund it then gets invested into different stocks bonds and they make their own portfolio okay so there is a fund manager here just like the mutual funds but the only difference between the mutual fund and the etf is that etf is traded on stock exchange okay it is it is a uh, stock exchange traded fund okay it is continuously traded on stock exchange whereas mutual funds the settlement happens only once a day okay we will will look into that later on but this is the basic difference between these two otherwise practically they are the same now exchange traded fund they track a particular index okay so they the securities can be such that you know that they they may be designed in such a way that it is tracking some index index for example say sensex so the stocks or securities that are present in this particular etf may be such matlab unka portfolio is tarah se hoga the portfolio may be designed in such a way that whatever the movement will happen in sensex the same or similar movement uh, convergent kind of movement will happen in the etf uh, also that particular etf also or it can be designed to track a particular sector so for example the the stocks or bonds are from a particular say pharma sector okay so it can be a pharma sector etf or it can be designed to track a particular commodity say gold okay gold commodity so that may be a gold etf or any industry okay any particular industry or any other asset for example it can be real uh, real estate it can be anything so there is a lot of flexibility when it comes to etf it can be designed in such a way that it can track different things so basically uh, you know basket of securities like stocks bonds they are boxed together okay they are boxed together so these are the underlying okay movement in this securities will determine the price of etf so it is also a kind of derivative instrument okay because the etf derives its value from the stocks and bonds in which it has invested and then this securities are boxed together and the units units of these are sold together to retail investors okay i will give you a simple example for example here this industry is going to track say pharma industry okay pharma sector and say for example there are 10 companies in pharma sectors now this etf this fund manager has invested into these 10 companies in each of these companies say for example there are 10 companies 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 for example in the first company the total investment is say 20% 
then here it is 10 percent then here it is 15 percent something like that okay it may be five percent like that so total 100 percent so the uh, the fund manager etf manager has invested into these different companies it has made a portfolio now the total corpus after investment in these 10 companies for example the total corpus is of 1000 crore okay 1000 crore rupees is invested now this 1000 crore can be broken into small small units say for example it is it is broken into 1 crore units okay 1 crore unit so each unit will be 1000 rupees right i am giving you a very crude example very simple example to understand how it happens so now this each unit will be sold so so for example if there is one retail investors he wants to invest 5000 rupees okay now he can buy five units of this etf something like that so uh, this is how uh, it happens the same thing happens in mutual fund also okay the same thing happens in mutual fund also it is traded all day on stock exchange okay unlike mutual funds which are traded after the markets close once per day so mutual fund mein kya hota hai? what happens in mutual fund that um, uh, you know the the trading in mutual fund happens after the market closes okay after the market closes so for example today people have invested say somebody has invested 5000 in one mutual fund other somebody has invested 2000 somebody has invested 10000 so something like that for example in one day one particular mutual fund has received say 10 crore rupees okay 10 crore rupees people have invested together like there are thousands and lakhs of people they have invested 10 crore rupees now what this fund manager will do he will wait for the entire day and after the after the you know market closes you know uh, he will trade into uh, he, he, he will buy the stocks and shares uh, uh, you know which are present in that particular mutual fund so basically uh, uh, you know mutual and he will allocate uh, the units of mutual fund to these people uh, based on their investment after the markets close okay so it happens once per day after the markets are closed but on exchange traded fund it happens throughout the day and therefore the price continuously fluctuates for ETF so mutual fund you will see the price will change in the evening okay every day in the evening the price will change otherwise the price of uh, you know your investment in mutual fund will remain the same it changes in the evening because the trade happens after the markets close once a day now let us look at different types of etfs so there are different kinds of etfs the first one is passive etf okay now passive etfs is basically it is designed to replicate the performance of a specific index such as sensex so it is not very actively managed basically the portfolio is such that you know i had already told you that it uh, you know it, it contains such shares and stocks which you know broadly replicate the sensex index so if any movement happens in sensex okay if any movement happens in sensex the same or similar kind of movement will happen in this etf also now you will ask me what is the difference then uh, you know why people will not directly invest in sensex and why they will invest in this etf it is only because that the for retail investors for retail investors who want to invest small amount they can invest in etfs because you know etfs are sold in small small units for example uh, one unit may be thousand rupees or two thousand rupees like that but if you want to invest in sensex so in sensex say for example there are 50 companies large companies you will have to buy one one stock of all of these companies so basically you know you will need a lot of money to invest in sensex but for retail investors it is easier to invest in etfs then the second one is active ETFs. So portfolio managers manage these, decide on which securities to invest in. So they are very actively managed and the managers, you know, will continuously decide which securities to invest, which not to invest. So basically you have chosen one sector, say for example, pharma sector. So there are 15 companies, but right now there are only 10 companies who are invested. Maybe the investor thinks that, okay, two companies are not doing well and maybe, you know, they will make a loss. So he will uh, remove, he will, uh, you know, withdraw the money from these two companies and he, he will invest in another two companies where he feels that, you know, it will make money, something like that. So it is very actively managed. Then the next type is bond ETFs. So, you know, it has bond as the underlying security, just like here, there are shares, here there are bonds. Then there are stock ETFs, so basket of stocks of a particular sector or industry. So it tracks a particular sector or industry and it is invested in the stocks of those uh, stocks of the companies which are in this particular sector. For example, pharma sector or health sector or you know any sector, real estate sector. Then commodity ETFs, so it invests in commodities like crude oil or gold already told you and currency ETFs in basket of currencies as underlying okay so it is investing in currencies for example dollar or you know uh, pound or euro something like that 
because you know people also speculate that the currency value will fluctuate so they also make money by speculating into currency market we will study the currency market in the next lesson okay when we start the international economics at that time we will understand how exactly forex market uh, you know runs uh so currency etf is you know which which the underlying securities basically the currencies now government of india has also introduced etf as a means of disinvestment i already told you for example if there is a company central public sector enterprise and government wants to disinvest it wants to dilute its shareholding in that company so what the government of india can do it can you know it can package different pses for example there are five pses it can package their shares together into one you know but box together into one particular fund and then it can sell units to the people okay same same concept basically they are known as cps etf okay central public sector enterprise etf so government sells some part of its shareholding in cps e to etf manager which then sells it to the retail investor same thing so for example the stocks of 10 cps is government is selling to the cps e etf it is constructing a cps e etf and basically there is a manager etf manager and then he will send it to the retail investor so that is how the money is uh, you know uh, received by the government uh, in by the way of disinvestment so i think uh, you know you have understood the etf uh, if there is any doubt please ask me in the comment section we'll continue equity financing in the next video thank you